have a neighbor who is retired, I believe, and every morning when I leave for work, he's sitting in his living room uh, on the couch. And every morning, it's one of the highlights of my morning, I go past his house and we wave at each other. I've always wanted a neighbor like that. Really great guy. He's the guy who gave us those uh, uh, ciders uh, after I shoveled his driveway for him. And uh, he brought us a little housewarming gift, introduced himself when we moved in. And every time he sees us, he stops the chat. Really great guy. I believe he's from the UK. I want to say that because that's where his accent sounds like it comes from. And he says that he has family out there. So one plus one, I would assume that he's from the UK, but I'll have to ask him next time. We don't get to see each other very much right now because of the whole like, the whole virus thing going around. So it's not like we can just go visit each other. Uh, oh yeah, highlight of my morning, every morning. He sits there on his couch, and as I leave the driveway, gives me a wave. <laughs> Good guy. So I oh I oh and it's off to work I go again. I'm gonna drive some trucks today again. Have some fun. Bring people their stuff. You know, as simple as it sounds, just bringing people their stuff. I love it. I love it. The simplicity of it is beautiful. I take stuff from here, then I bring it over there in good condition. You see? People are always happy to get their stuff. It's sort of like getting an Amazon delivery. Uh, like you're always happy when you get the stuff you ordered, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm like a hero of sorts, right? Maybe? No? Whatever. We'll just go with that. Let's go make sure everything's working, shall we? So I, so I gave the truck a rinse yesterday. You'll see I didn't do a very good job. That's because it's gonna be just as dirty as it was yesterday in about 30 minutes, but I did rinse her down. And look at this. I've got a trailer door again. Again, just pretty much rinsed it down. It's a lot better than it was. We need to get this thing looked at a little bit, but it still works. It's still good. Why fix it if it ain't broke? Another day begins. Gotta go into town and pick up something for the city. So if you don't know the Manitoba speak lingo, that means I've got to go into Steinbeck and pick up something going to Winnipeg from town to the city. Town could be any town in Manitoba. It depends on where you're from. Town is usually where you're from or around the area you're from. If you say you're going to the city, every Manitoban knows what you mean. You're going to Winnipeg. At least in my experience, I guess everybody could be different. So yeah, I did give the, the truck a little mini bath. I don't even know if I'd call it a bath yesterday. I had a little bit of extra time after I got off. I got off a little earlier. So I just rinsed down the front end for the most part. If I got time today, I'll do the back end. But it's supposed to get really cold over the weekend. So if I am gonna wash it, I've gotta do it this week. Otherwise, I've gotta wait for it to warm up a bit again. I don't wanna be out there spraying water in minus 40 doesn't seem like a good idea. I uh, never really tried it, but I don't really want to tell you what the experience was like, so let's just avoid it. I think today is supposed to be a decent winter day. Not too cold. A little bit windy. The cold is supposed to sit in on Saturday if the weather people are right. Uh, what they say you can take with a grain of salt. I don't know. It changes all the time. If you pay attention to the forecast, they're they're like, you know, the long range forecast, seven to 10 days. They change it every single day. They're just guessing. I don't know. What do I know? I'm not a meteorologist. I'm a truck driver. All I know is I, uh, I don't like it when it snows. I love snow, like on the weekends when I'm not working. I like it in the ditches. I like it on the trails for snowmobiling, if I had a snowmobile. I, however, I am not a fan of it when it is on the road. If we could just find a way to uh, like heat the highways so that as soon as snow fell, it just melted off the highways and ran into the ditch. That was an intersection, my crane friend. 
right in the middle of the intersection. Look at me judging people already. It's not even 8 o'clock. <laughs> Why am I in the left lane? Maybe I should judge myself a little bit more, you know? Get back in the correct lane. So I always thought it would be cool. I mean, it would cost a fortune. But if we could heat the highways so that all the concrete and pavement is heated, that would be awesome. I, I, I want to have a heated driveway one day when we build our house. And that is within the realm of possibility, right? Just from our garage to the street. I want it to be paved and I want it to be heated. So that whenever it snows, all you got to be like, is like, hey, it's snowing outside. Boop, turn on the, like the floor heat or the driveway heat. And as the snow falls, it just melts and runs off. That way you always have a clear driveway. You never have to shovel. I mean, it is possible to get that done. All I gotta do, all I gotta do is win the lottery. It's that simple. But I don't even know if you can buy lottery. I'm pretty sure you can buy lottery tickets now in Manitoba, right? Did you know that during this last lockdown thing that Manitoba participated in and we were forced into, that buying lottery tickets was not essential? I get it, it's not essential. But they closed that down too, so we couldn't buy lottery tickets for like two months. So maybe you can buy them now, I don't know. But my chances of having a heated driveway drastically decrease when they take away my ability to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Trucker Josh might have a heated driveway one day. You never know. I can't imagine how expensive that would be. Like, how long would our driveway be? We haven't really planned out our, our yard yet, or our uh, our house build, right? I'm guessing it would be at least 100 feet of pavement. That would be expensive right there, plus heating it. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna look into it. Maybe it's cheaper than I think. Maybe it can be done. That way when I get old, I don't have to shovel, right? All I have to do is flip on a switch. Work smarter, not harder. Uh-oh, that's not what you want to see first thing in the morning. That always makes me sad. That means somebody's in trouble. February day. Look at this. It doesn't get much better than this in February. The snow is actually slightly melting. That's not bad. That's pretty good. And the truck is filthy again. And now you know why I don't wash the truck every day. I try to get it done as often as I can, but you know if I, if I got an easier day or if I get off a little earlier than usual, I'll spray her down, but Look at every vehicle here. Except for that one just off to the right there. He obviously just washed it. He'll get about to the next traffic lights and it'll look just as dirty as all the rest. <laughs> so we're on the north side of the city again. We're coming south down McPhillips, if you're familiar with the city. I gotta bring some stuff to around the, uh, uh, close to McPhillips and Logan, around where that casino is. I'm not going to the casino, but around that area there. And then from there, I guess we'll uh, see what the load gods have for us. I'm really glad my washer fluid got filled up. I'm gonna need it today. Well, we find ourselves downtown Winnipeg again. Finding myself down here quite a bit. Country boy, I sure end up downtown a lot. 
I don't mind it though. I love driving through here. It's fun. You get to see all the buildings, all the people, how everybody lives in a little box in the sky. And then I get to go home and leave the city. I really wish, I don't know, I wish the, the Jets, like uh, the Jets Arena is just off to my left over there. We went by it yesterday. Did you see it in yesterday's video? A little Easter egg for you to go back and look for. Uh, I wish their rink wasn't downtown. <laughs> That's the only thing I wish. But I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to revitalize it. A lot of these buildings here have been redone recently as well. Uh, they're putting, investing a lot of money into revitalizing downtown here. And yeah, they're doing a good job, but they're not doing a bad job. But uh, it's very hard to revitalize Winnipeg, you know, you can, uh, you can, I, I won't say it, it's just Winnipeg. Everybody in Canada knows it's Winnipeg, you know, you can put a shiny bow on it, it's still Winnipeg. <laughs> it's not that, there, there's a lot of good areas of Winnipeg, let's, let's just leave it at that, a lot of good areas. I'm looking at something off on the right here, what are they building here now? True North Square. So this will have to be something to do with the Jets Arena, I'm guessing. Oh, they're tearing something down first. Oh, what did they tear down this time? Wow. What a mess. They've been tearing down a lot of, like, heritage buildings and a lot of old buildings. It's been upsetting a lot of people. Because that's our history, you know, but sometimes you just gotta make room for the new, you know, out with the old and with the new. Right where the Winnipeg Jets Arena is right now, uh, used to be the Eaton Building, I believe, built in somewhere in like the early 1800s. It's one of the first big buildings of Winnipeg and it was a heritage building. And they knocked it down to build an arena that's way too small, in a terrible place with no parking. It upset a lot of Winnipeggers and a lot of Manitobans that they did that. But, alas, we're in Winnipeg. Nothing has to make sense. All you gotta do is say Winnipeg, and oh, that makes sense. <laughs> the next road up here is Broadway. Did you know that we have a Broadway in Winnipeg? Oh yeah, we're super fancy. What's this? Like, there's a sidewalk literally right there, my friend. I guess it probably doesn't work well for her walker. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Oh yeah, we got this light red too. Of course we did. Of course we did. So we're gonna turn left here. This is Broadway. Not quite the same as New York, but it's something. It's, uh, we got something going on here. Look at us. Look at us go. And this light's gonna turn green right away and there's still people crossing the road. Okay, you made it. You made it, bud. You and your Tims, you're safe. Good for you. I can get around this car. There we go, let's show you Broadway. If I were to turn the other way on Broadway, we would uh, go past the Manitoba Legislature, which is our capital building in the province. That would actually be fun to show you sometime. It's actually a pretty impressive building. Of course it is, it's a government building. They spared no expense. Probably still paying it off. <laughs> you know at the top of our legislature, uh, there's a golden boy, coated in real gold. You know what, it's been, and people have attempted to steal it more than once. One guy even had a helicopter and tried to fly away with it. Oh yes. And the golden boy points northward uh, to signify the developments up north as we were developing and settling north from here. And it sort of uh, pointed towards all the opportunity, the minerals and stuff up north that we could go and uh, you know, build on in the future. At least that's what I was taught in school. On the right here, this fancy hotel, that's the Fort Gary Hotel. Uh, it is said to be haunted from some pretty credible sources. I have uh, wanted, always wanted to go and check it out for myself and stay there for a night. 
but uh, it's difficult to justify paying the rates for a hotel room here because I live in Manitoba. Why would I? Well, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a date night sometime. We'll come and check out the haunted Port Gary Hotel. We'll make a video about it. I don't know. Maybe we'll see a ghost. We'll see. You never know. And this right here is the Via Rail Station, uh, Union Station. This was the hub. This was like the airport of Winnipeg back in the day before we had flying metal boxes in the sky. Everybody would come to Winnipeg by train. And this is where you would board the train and get off the train. The, the, the rails are right behind this building. This was the, the place to be if you're going anywhere or coming from anywhere. Must have been a pretty happening place back in the day. I mean, that was the only way to get around. Like, if you wanted to go to Calgary, you had to get on a train. If you wanted to go to Toronto, you had to get on a train. Either that or get on a boat and go down the rivers. I mean, but that only takes you so far, right? Oh, there's one of those buses that folds in half. Wow. Simple pleasures. That was cool. This is Main Street. The main part of Main Street is behind us. As soon as we get over the Assiniboine River here, it turns into St. Mary's Road. But we're gonna turn off of this, just on the other side, onto Marion Street and go into St. Boniface, the French Quarter. The French Quarter of the city where everybody speaks English anyway. Yeah. But it was settled by the French. The French were on that side of the river, the English were on this side of the river. Eventually the English won, because if you look at our uh, uh, our provincial flag, it has the Union Jack in the top left corner with the crest, Manitoba crest, on a red background. That's our provincial flag. Wow, we're getting into like Winnipeg history here. Wow, I'm sorry to have bored you. Now you know. See, Winnipeg isn't really on the map. People always forget we exist. Now you know something about it. You know more than your neighbor. Congratulations. one more full week and then it's a long weekend hello 
What? Uh -huh. I'm home! Does anybody care? <laughs> That's the commander. That's the commander. He cares. One second, boys. Let me get my work boots off. Oh, my. What's going on? Oh! Oh, yeah! I'm home! Shield, got my shield, got my shield. Whoa, 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 ho, 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 Hi, man. Careful. Wiener's coming. Careful, 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 careful. Okay, okay. Okay, watch out for Wiener. Wiener, Wiener, go somewhere safe, buddy. Go somewhere safe. That's not somewhere safe. Oh, okay, Chevy. Chevy. Are you excited to see me or are you excited to see them? I think he's excited to see you. Wow. So that's how I get home when I know Brit's at work. We're very loud! Loud noises! Right? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, Bert's at work. The boys will have some fun, right? Right? Chevy, can you sit? That's not sitting. Sit and I'll pet you. Hi, Commander. What's up? What's up, Commander? I got all your messages you sent. That was rude. I was talking to the commander. Can you sit still? Sit. I'll pet you if you sit. You, no, you gotta stay sitting. Diesel, sit up. Quiet. No, Diesel. Okay, no, you stand up, I don't pet you. You have to stay sitting. Stay sitting. Then I'll pet you. No. Only if you're sitting, you get the pets. No. Okay, you can't handle it, you can't handle it. I should pet myself then. Oh, but I'm not sitting. I have to sit first. All right, all right. They want to go outside or something lame like that. I gotta find my tube. Where's my tube? Is it right in here? Oh, there it is. One second, let me put you fine, fine people down right there. Don't move. Yeah, you might fall. Watch the little guys, Diesel. Watch them. You stink. I've been working hard all day. What do you expect? More than I can say for you guys. I'm retired, man. I don't work anymore. That's what retired means. Must be nice. Alright, let's take these fine people. Okay, everybody. And let's go outside. Let's be a little quieter out here, though, okay? Let's not annoy everybody. Oh, well, that was a good day. That was a good day. Uh, a bit of a shorter day, like I said, so I'm home just after 5 o'clock instead of usually... Lately, I've been getting home. Like, what is usual, right? Every day is different. There is no usual or usually. Uh, but I would say uh, lately, I've been home usually around 6 to 6.30. And today, I'm home at 5. So, Britt only gets off work at 6.30. So, that gives me over an hour, almost an hour and a half just to do whatever I want. Do you want to know another pet peeve of mine? I feel a rant coming on. I don't know. Maybe not. People who have cats in town and they just let them loose outside to roam around town. Stop it! 
they jump our yard because of course our fence right because of course we got dogs and they spray our entire yard in the summertime they wreck stuff and of course they make our dogs go crazy right because the dogs when they see the cat chase them right out of the yard right and I'd encourage them to do that they're supposed to chase intruders out of our yard right that's what they're supposed to do but why do people who have cats in town let them loose out into town to just wander around everybody's backyard there's this one cat that keeps coming here there's actually two i think but there's one for sure black and white cat he's obviously an indoor cat obviously has owners he's well taken care of well fed and they just let him out every day and he always comes to our yard and then he teases our dogs he he like sits outside on our front porch there makes the dogs go crazy and then he goes around to the backyard jumps our fence and climbs it jumps over and then sprays our backyard so it stinks like cat urine and then dogs go out there and they're going nuts because they smell it all right i'm really not a cat person i don't know if you knew this well work is not over yet work is not over just one part of it is over now we must show everybody what we did Right, Diesel? And tell them about the kitty cat. Yeah, you're a big bad wolf, man. Good job protecting me. 